Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. We've done our first dungeon in the Dark World, and now we have many more to go. Oh, and I'm gonna get hit by everything, apparently. Oh please, no, 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 why? Oh, it's fine. So anyway, let's get started and uh, explore some more of the Dark World, since we can also do a few things, since we can also link with the light world by using the mirror, the magic mirror. Can I get through here? I thought I thought I could get through this as, or something, but maybe not. It's fine. There's also a place down here that I should, probably should have just checked earlier to show what it's like, because it allows you to, to do a few things differently. So, let's go down this way. Because this place over here exists as well. Uh, but if we use the mirror now... Actually, no, we couldn't do this until after the dungeon, which is interesting. That that's like that, because you would think that this would be open before the dungeon. Uh, but anyway, down here are some wooden pegs around this stone. So we only can only do this once we have the hammer. which we can So we can open those up. But this is an entrance to the Dark World. The only way to get out is also to have a hammer as well, so... You definitely need the hammer, so why wouldn't you just have that avail- I don't know. It seems like that's in a good position to get to the dungeon. But you can only do that by having done part of the dungeon already, so... It just seems strange to me, but anyway. Let's go ahead and go heal, because that's probably a good plan. There are still fairies around, which is good. Even though it's the Dark World, you'd think that there'd be no hope for the hero in the Dark World, but nope, there is actually good stuff here. Uh, now, I think I'm gonna also check a few other things as well. So since we have the hammer, we can access a few more areas of the Dark World. Uh, the main one being probably down river to the Lake Hylia. Please, don't get stuck on the edge of the water. Let's go down here. And this place is blocked off because of the walls here, so we're gonna come back to that later. Uh, but over here is this little uh, patch of area, and I want to use the magic mirror here to go back to the light world, because this is the island with the piece of heart that we couldn't get before. So now, let's go ahead and go up this way. Uh, and I think I probably should have stayed in the dark world, actually. But that's okay. We can do a few other things here, like going down this way. And actually, getting the hammer allows us to do a lot of helpful things. Like, uh, if I get out my hammer, please. We can go through here and pick this rock up, which is, once again, another Dark World portal. So we can get to the Dark World from here. Just like that. So, we can do some stuff here, or we can go in other directions. Uh, the bridge that connects the the Eastern Palace with the... with this area, with Link's house and Lake Harley is actually... it has those pegs that you can uh, smash down with the hammer, so... Also, Link's house in the Dark World is a bomb shop. 100 rupees for 30 bombs! Um, maybe not. You know, maybe not. Also, I did want to do the other thing really quick, which I probably should have done already, but I, I was not smart with my... my movements. Ah, uh, that's okay. Let's go over this way. Go down here. Hello. Just gotta take you out, please. Monsters, please. Yeah, in this- in the Dark World, we're not fi fighting the guards anymore. It's monsters. It's quite interesting as well. But that's what the change is between everything. Ah! Also, that's a strong guard. He's red. Ah, uh, but let's go to the Fairy Fountain down here and try and get some more uh, upgrades to our bombs and arrows, so we can have more of them. Okay. Throw a few. Like 50, you know. I wish I could, I could, wish I could throw 100. But I guess I need to be able to put in a little bit of time. Just throw a few 50 rupees. I might actually upgrade arrows some more, because that's probably the most helpful thing that I'm going to need at the moment. Bombs aren't as useful 
in general. I mean, they're good for combat, like, if you need to do damage to an enemy, but it's, you, you, have, you still have to wait for it to explode and all that. Oh, I'm gonna have big trouble. That's not good. Please, let me do it again. Okay. More arrows, please. 45 is at maximum. Cool, this is good. We increased how many arrows we can hold by about 10 so far. Plus the whatever we did last time we came through here. It's so slow. <laughs> it's so slow. I'm gonna have good luck. Yay. I should go gambling now. Okay, 50 rupees. Now, I think if I'm correct, 50 is probably the most we can upgrade it to. Maybe? Maybe. There's only one way to find out, and that's to throw on another 100 rupees. Very slowly. A little luck. Okay. Throw a few. Okay. Can I get up to 60 arrows? Yes, I can, apparently. And I can only up do one more upgrade, so I think I'm probably just going to do bombs to even it out a little bit. Also, I don't think I've, I'd noticed before or did anything with it. Uh, but this is a hole in the wall there that we can actually blow up. And there's fairies inside if we need to get fairies, so... Want to carry more bombs? Cool. Good. Great. That's as much as we can do for now. There's the fairies if you need them. I actually think I need one, so... Let's grab a fairy. Let's heal. And that should be everything here for now. Oh my goodness. It takes so long to put in rupees. Because there's also the text that has to go in every time as well. Ah, uh, but anyway. Let's head back up this way. Don't hit me, please. Thank you. Ah, get in the portal. I can't go to the portal when I have invincibility frames, apparently. Maybe it's just hard, I don't know. Anyway. Continuing on our journey of not dying. Also, that rock skull is alive, so we touch it and it comes to life. Uh, but anyway, let's go a long way this way. Also, this tree is alive. It has eyes on it that are moving to follow us. There's also a hole here, which I think there's also possibly one like this in the light world, but this is just fairies, so it's not terribly important. Also, if we touch the, the nose of this tree, it will shoot out a a bomb once. Quit bothering me and watch where you're going when you dash around. I wasn't dashing around. What was that time? Please, please talk to me. Why can't you? Why do you? Wow, it's in a normal person a few hundred years. Let me talk to you for a while. I heard that using bombs is the best way to defeat one-eyed giants. Interesting. That's all I know. So the the cyclops that throw bombs around. I guess we need to use bombs on them to take them out. Interesting. Uh, anyway, if we go over this way some more, there's another talking tree. If we wait for it to do its thing. Quit bothering me and watch where you're dashing Okay, cool. There's quite a- there's, there's a few trees that are actually live here, so... It's pretty cool. Anyway, over here we actually have a hole in this wall here that we can actually go into. And if we use the magic mirror... Takes us up onto this ledge that we couldn't reach before. Let's go into this cave. Because in here is another piece of heart that we can get. There we go. Destroy all the pots. That's just a really cool idea for a puzzle. The switching between worlds to get up onto a ledge. And get something. Ah, uh, but now, let's go up this way. Because I believe we can actually do something over here now. Hello. 
After wandering into this world, I turned into this shape. I enjoyed playing the flute in the original world. There was a small grove where many animals gathered. I want to see that place again. I buried my flute there with some flower seeds. Will you try to find it for me? Yes, I will. Then I will lend you my shovel. Good luck. So there we go. You borrowed a shovel, you can dig in many places. You never know what you'll find. So let's use this. I'm not sure if we only have this while we're doing this specific thing. Also, I feel like this was a mistake. I feel like that was a... Yep, that's a mistake. I was too close to the tree trunk. Let's go a little bit further up and then use the magic mirror so it doesn't activate the cutscene on us. While we're trying to do our thing. So we have the shovel here. And if we dig where these flowers are, we find a flute. Also known as an ocarina. Here is the flute. This its music surely has some mysterious power. Okay. Um Yeah, that's just a a flute now. We don't have the shovel anymore. Let's go back to the dark world and see how he responds now. Thank you, Link, but it looks like I can't play my flute anymore. Please take it. If by chance you go to the village I lived in, please give it uh, to a tired old man you'll find there. Well, my mind is getting hazy. Please let me hear the sound of the flute one last time. And he turns into a tree. And he's, 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 he's gone now, so... Basically. Ah, uh, but now, let's head over to Kakariko Village if we can. Although I don't know if I can, maybe. Because I believe, if we go up this way, there's a boulder there that's... It's the one I can't get rid of, so I might just have to... Actually, no, I can... I don't need... I don't need... I don't need? I don't need. I just need to go to the village, Kakariko, Kakariko Village in the light world. That's all I need to do. Ah, uh, pretty much. Let's get out the flute, please. Thank you. There's quite a few guards around here now. We can just ignore them most, most, most of the time. Okay. I think it was the guy in the bar that I needed to say hello to. Possibly. Snore. Oh, this is my son's flute. Did you meet my son? Where is he? Is he alright? Oh, I see. Well, I can tell you what uh, you want to say uh, by the look in your eyes. Would you keep the flute and will you play its sweet melody for the bird in the uh, village square? I beg of you, please. My son, uh, son would probably want it this way, but still, I wish I could have seen... Could see him one last one more, once more. So yeah, that actually loops around. It actually comes full circle. Also, there's no guard. There's actual guards in Kakariko as well. Uh, as well so there's no one to alert the guards. But anyway, he said to play the ocarina in front of the bird statue here. And it comes to life. And now whenever we play the flute, we get picked up and now we can teleport to one of these locations as long as we're in the light world, so. Uh, but now, I think that's everything I wanted to get out of the way right now, unless there's something else I'm forgetting, which I probably am, knowing me. Uh, but let's go over, probably to Link's house actually, probably, because we need to go back to the dark world now. Although I probably should have stayed over there because there's that, that portal I put. And there was that uh, archery house that I saw. I should probably check that out as well, so. But yes, being able to teleport around is going to be very helpful. Uh, but for now, let's take a look at this thing that I saw. 
I don't think it's anything important, but I think it's a, a minigame you can just do for fun, so. Also, I don't think... I don't think I can... Oh, I can go through here. I could look at that as well, I guess, so. It's surprising the things that they just have around. Okay. Well, howdy. Light Walt Walder. You look like a straight shooter. Want to try your skill in my shooting gallery? I'll give you five shots for 20 rupees. If you're as sharp as I think you are, you stand to rank, rank in the rupees. How about it, stranger? Let's play. Alright, aim carefully. Ready? Go. We have only a few shots. But we need to hit... The... Squid... Uh, octopus enemies. And miss the hands. But also, I'm just terrible about at, the, at this, apparently. Oh my goodness, I've hit nothing. I've hit nothing! Absolutely perfect. Can I please play again? I want, I want to hit something, at the very least. Again, this minigame isn't... necessary. Missed. Missed. Oh, I'm out of everything. Cool, okay. Well, that was completely a waste of time, but anyway, it's, it's fine. I just need to get more rupees again, it's fine. So fine. All my rupees are gone. Also, we have these things here where we can jump over them. Just like in the minigame that we played here. Racing through everything. I think it's cool that it does that. Also, hello. Uh, let's go down this way. Although I don't think I have enough rupees to play this. Welcome to the treasure field. The object is to dig as many holes as you can in 30 seconds. Any treasures you dig up will be yours to keep. It's only 80 rupees to play. You don't have enough rupees to play at the moment. Sorry. Uh, so I really need more rupees for that. But I don't currently have that, so I can't do that. Oh well. We'll come back to that when we have, do have more rupees. So for now... I'm actually kind of tempted to check, check something in the light world again. Because I feel like I missed something. I just have a feeling. Because I'm very good at missing things, apparently. Excuse me. Ah! Don't, don't, just don't, please. Okay. Because I think if we go over this way now, I think we might possibly be able to do something over here. Yes. Let's get out our hammer. And hit this here. Because it allows us to go over here and jump into this hole. Which allows us to get to a place that we couldn't get to before. I'm gonna go up from the screen here. And let's get out our magic. And sprinkle that there. Hey! Blast you for waking me from my d a deep, dark sleep. I mean, thanks a lot, sir. But now I will get my revenge on you. Get ready for it, uh... Is that okay with you, sir? Ha ha ha! I laugh at your misfortune! Now your magic power will, uh, will drop by one half! Congratulations! Now do your best, even though I'm sure it won't be enough! Have a nice day! So now whenever we use magic, we have... It doesn't use as much. It uses half as much, basically. We have... we have... we basically just doubled our magic, effectively. And also, we couldn't go this way because that door is locked from the side, so... I can't believe I've been cursed. Now I can do things more efficiently than I could before. Anyway. So now that we've done all that, I believe we can actually go to the next dungeon. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Which we've already, we've already been over this. Let's head down this way. Well, so that's a bomb there, apparently. Sometimes when you cut a piece of grass, there'll be just a mine on the ground. To step on. Ow! Get out of the switch, please! There we go. Also, I think if you press, uh... The dash button and item button at the same time... Or something, I'm pretty sure. Am I wrong about this? Oh, you stole my bombs! Don't do that! You just stole a rupee! How dare you! I'm so sure you could do this. I'm so sure. I'm 
Am I wrong? I thought you could use both hammer and Pegasus boots at the same time, but I, I'm not. It's not working for me for some reason. So I don't know. Anyway, if we go in here, it's a thieves' hideout. Take some rupees, but don't tell anyone I gave them to you. Keep it between us, okay? Looks like I'm going to be spending more time at the fairy fountain on also looking at that mini game and also looking at everything else that I was planning on doing that I couldn't do, but it's fine. <laughs> I have so many rupees now. I'm glad that I'm progressing in the way that I should be. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Anyway, 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 anyway. Let's go do the mini game that I said I wasn't going to do that I can do now. Because I needed 80 rupees and now I have 400 rupees. How did that happen? I have to ask this question. Because I don't- I just don't understand how. How did this happen? Okay. Down we go. Hello sir, I've come to play a minigame. 80 rupees to play? Yes, I want to dig. Then I'll lend you a shovel. When you have it in your hand, start digging. Press the Y button to dig. Let's get in and let's just dig as much as we can. It's good to try and get 80 rupees if you can from digging. It's all random basically, so just keep digging. Uh, the luck might increase with the fairy fountain luck, possibly. I might be wrong about that. Uh, but basically we just need to dig as much as we can here. We might even get a profit on rupees. Just trying to get what we need from this. This is actually important to do, so... It's not just a rupee grinding game. Time's up, okay. Um, I think I also have to leave the screen... ...to have it reset, so I can do it again. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. Getting some red rupees back. Some blue rupees, some red rupees. Come on. Come on, game. Give me the thing that I want. Give me the reason that I'm here. Please, game. Nope. Didn't get it again. Okay, take three. Let's see if the game will be kind enough to give me what I want. Let's go start from this end. If I can. On the right level. I don't know where it's gonna be, it's just random, so... I also like the minigame music. I'm not sure why. It's not the most impressive minigame music I've ever heard, but it's still, I, I like it, so... Nope, missed it again. I've, I've regained a hundred rupees from this, come on. How dare you, I don't want the rupees, I want the win I want to win the minigame. There it is! There's a random piece of heart that you can get from this minigame, by random chance. Oh, there we go. Finally, I did it. Time to go to the Great Fairy now. And spend some rupees since I, I gained 100 rupees from that. How? I had zero rupees like a minute ago. <laughs> Not quite a minute ago, but you know what I mean. So it might be faster to just go to Light World and use the teleportation power. You can get five more upgrades from this. Let's do more bombs. More bombs again. More bombs again. Bombs again. Up to 40. Okay. And I'll do more arrows just to even things out a bit. Okay. I'm not sure what the maximum on those are. I might have already hit the maximum on both of those, but I'm, I don't know, so... But now that we've done all that... Let's go back to Link's house so we can... Go to the Dark World, so we can go to the next dungeon, so we can actually continue. And not get distracted by anything whatsoever. Please. 
Please, I'm dying right here. Okay, 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 okay. We're in the dark world. Let's head south, because this is the direction to the next dungeon. This is all good. The next dungeon is actually this place here, so... We should have things under control. Ah, uh, but let's go inside. We've made it. We fight. Did I get hit by something as I walked in? Link, it is I, Sahasrala. Our objects exist simultaneously in both worlds with similar shapes. If, in the for if the form of one thing changes, it will affect the shape of its twin in the other world. Cool, so we can't do anything here right now, so we're gonna have to leave and come back. Basically, what is what he's saying. The ultimate side quest is the main quest. So let's go back to the light world and go through here. And let's drain the water again, because for some reason it just decides to close itself whenever you're doing other things in other parts of the world. Probably because we're going in and out of dungeons, possibly. Well, possibly because we went through Hyrule Castle. I don't know what changes it, but anyway. It, the point is it changes. But now let's go back to the Dark World, because in the Dark World now, the drain is active. So now, this area in here is full of water, which allows us to swim to the next part of the dungeon. Just like that, we can finally progress. <laughs> Small key so we can go through here. We've also got this water that spawns in that will just try to bounce around and hurt us. We don't have to do anything about it, we just need to dodge it, basically. I don't think we can do anything about it. It just bounces around, so... Ow. Ah, uh, let's get this. Also, the shadows behind us that spawn in when we're walking are little chew enemies. Let's go to those, and let's take a look at the map now that we've unlocked it. That's a lot of area. <laughs> That's a fair bit of area. Although it probably won't take terribly long to get through it all. It'll probably take a lot less time than it does to just walk around doing all the side quest stuff that keeps on expanding, apparently. There's a small key inside of that uh, skull there that we need to get before we can continue. That's good. There's also this fire spewer thing down here. That will only spew fire in the direction that is closest to us, and only when we use our weapon. So, if we don't hit any, if we don't s s slash at anything, it won't shoot at anything, basically. Or try to shoot us. That's, that's the one. Also this flame bar thing that just goes wherever it can. Usually along walls and all that. When it makes a turn, it just keeps going in the direction it does until it hits a wall. And then picks another random direction. Anyway, small key. Just keep going. Uh, there's also that there that I need to blow up. Also these Stalfos. Need the hammer again as well so we can get through here. And push that. Switch. So we can get some more water in here because that's exactly what this place needs. Okay, this is just for some refills. Uh, but now that the water's drained, we can actually go across here, because this ladder thing here, or stairs thing here, only goes from a certain distance up the wall. Now, is there anything over here? No? Cool. Just checking. Okay. Let's go down here, because I believe this is the way to get the compass. Just need to go around this room, through the full loop. It's also these enemies that spawn in through the holes in the walls. We can take them out without too much problems. Okay. Let's push this block, and chest spawns in. And there's the compass. Okay. The boss is on the f basement one at the very top. So we'll have to go all the way over there if we can. I love this desi des design of this dungeon. I, don't, I think it's just because I love the water and the drains and all of it. It's just really cool. I like it. Uh, I think I need to go up first before going through there. So let's go over this way. 
Oh, I don't have a key, so I can't actually go that way. Okay, then. Let's go this way. Just need to keep everything in mind. Um, I don't like the fire being there, please. Thank you. Once again, I believe this is probably a small key. Yep. It's important not to miss that. Oh, and that means that I can't push these out of the way. So I need to go back to the other room that I thought I needed to go to before going over this way. And it all makes sense now. Okay. So we're going through here. Take you out. Take you out. And you. Okay, and I probably want to hit this switch from over this side. Just so we can push that out of the way. That activates water. And we can go down, but the we need the wall. We need the red switch. Ah, we, we, we just need to... We need to leave it like that, basically. With the blue walls up. Just because we need it like that so we can get through everywhere. Okay. So now, we can go across this water over here. Go down here, please. Please, thank you. I'm so sure you could use the hammer and the other thing at the same time. I don't know why I think that, but anyway. No, you, I'm pretty sure you can. So why won't it let me? I don't know. Anyway, we need to go around here, I believe. No, not up this way. We need to go through here since we can push those blocks and go up. Maybe it's just not this version that I'm playing on allowing me to do it. Which would be strange. Because I don't understand why that would be. Just playing on a mini SNES. Ah, uh, let's fall down here. First, I believe. And get a red rupee. Correct decision. Let's go back up again. Don't have to worry too much about the chews there. Careful, 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 so careful, so careful, it's okay, it's fine. Okay, well we're down here now, and we needed to have the switch set to what it was so we can get through here. Which is why I was talking about all that. Uh, so let's go through all this. Getting some rupees, and also... The big key, already. Which I guess makes sense. The dungeons in this aren't as big as uh, they'd look. For some reason I remember the, them being longer. I'm not sure why exactly. Maybe it's just the way that my brain stores information. It just pushes it all together and makes them seem bigger. Okay. Back to the main room. Because now we can get the dungeon item. Just like that, we get the hook shot. <laughs> boing! This is the hook shot. It extends and contracts, and boing! It can grapple with many things. That's the best explanation of something I've ever seen. Anyway, we can grapple over to the skulls over here, which is interesting for a start. You can also use it as a somewhat good weapon, just for taking out some of the small enemies. Uh, but now, I believe we want to go over here to this, these skulls, because that one has a small key in it. Which is what we need to be able to progress, so. There's also these statues here with their tongues sticking out. Just want to point those out. Now, let's go across here. And we can go through this door now. Now, which way do I want to go? I think it's... Actually, I think what I want to do is actually put this uh, statue on the switch. Which opens this door here. But also, it opens one of the doors on this side, which I think is probably this one. And this is the way we want to go. This is the most effective way. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. My brain's fairly good about remembering things in video games, so we can hit that switch that way. That drains the water down there. We've done everything probably correctly there. By checking that path instead of the other path. I don't know where the other stairs went to. 
Unless it goes down from here, which I'd believe. Please. Does it go down here? Yeah, the st other stairs went down here. Cool. Get some more treasure, and we can continue now. Okay, so we have a few rooms here we can look at. Most of them is just for item refills. So let's go through here. Just ignoring you. Um, I think... Uh, I think what I want to do is push this block over here to there, spawning in a chest. Also, these enemies are a lot more, more, a lot more annoying than I remember. Ow. Let's go through this wall. No, this wall. No, this wall. Which way am I going? I don't know. Here. The other room was a lot bigger than I remembered, apparently. Okay. Some more item refills, which is good. Because I believe we're very close to the end now. Very close. Uh, there's also refills over there. If we wanted to take that path. Uh, let's swim upstream here, please. Also, I don't think we can hit the enemies in the water when we're above them, so. So, blow up that wall there for refills, which I might actually do since I have a few, quite a, more than half of my hearts missing. Might be a good plan. Although, I, so far, just two hearts. Everything else is just other refills. It's fine. It's so fine. Okay. Let's go over here now. And we've made it to the boss. Let's have a hookshot ready because it's what we're going to need to take it out. And let's go. Hookshot that. Slash, slash. And we just need to do this until we have taken out all of its coverage. Careful when it spins them faster because they'll sp spread out. Ow, why do you hit me like that? Just why? Run away. So fine. Just need to not be where it's moving to. Okay, careful, careful, careful. Oh, dodge. Out of the way. Please. Please. Thank you. Just one more. Also, apparently I'm taking a lot more damage than I should be. Just because whenever they're trying to move back to it, it seem they seem to hit me for some reason. Oh, please. There we go. Okay, once we're in the final part of the fight, it's going to drop down from above and bounce around the room. We probably want to be in a corner and just do lots of spin attacks to win this. Oh, so it tries to drop on you first thing. I probably should have seen that coming. This is why I have fairies. This is why you go out of your way to have fairies. Okay, get rid of you. Be careful. And there we go. Give me a piece of heart container. Just like that. And the next crystal for the next maiden. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. The Triforce will grant the wishes of whoever touches it, as long as that person lives. That is why the, uh, it was hidden in the Golden Land. Only a secret few knew of its location. But it, at some point, that knowledge was lost. The person who rediscovered the Golden Land was Ganondorf, the evil thief. Luckily, he couldn't figure out how to return the, to the Light World. Well, remember that you have magical powers which only the hero can make the most of. There are some other magical warping points like the one you saw in Death Mountain. By using them you can go between the two worlds and find the evils hidden in the Dark World. You are the only one who can destroy Ganondorf, the thief... No, Ganon, the king of evil or darkness. Do you understand? Yes I do. May the way of the hero lead you to the Triforce. So there we go, and that's the second maiden saved. But that is it for now, so thank you all for watching. 
And I'll see you all next time. Also, that guy can steal your shield, so be careful. <laughs> because otherwise you have to buy a new shield.